Welcome back to another Top 5 Plays, episode 279. We got two giveaways going on. One is a giant giveaway that is connected with some YouTubers, including Red Mercy and Panzer Dragon. So check that out in the link in the description box. The other is a free Loot Crate trial, but I'll give you more information on that near the end of the video. With that out of the way, let's jump into some plays. Starting us off, we have Diamond Player Video on Wukong. Video created pressure in the top lane, thus Kennen came to deal with his push, but Video has bigger plans from top lane to base to bottom jungle. He knows exactly what he's doing. Video calmly and fluidly flashes into a Nimbus Strike into a Cyclone, which grabs him a quick triple, and it's not long till Karma goes down, giving him the Quadra. A nice play with map awareness, timing, and of course hitting that R button real hard. Alright, if you're looking for a play with some style points, Warden Zillion is about to show you some moves. Warden and his team are chasing after the red team after a favorable fight. Warden seems to have thrown his bomb a little short, or did he? He flashes on top of his second bomb in midair, stunning three enemies in the process. I don't know if there's a name for that move, but good gracious, that was nice. He keeps himself alive with Chrono Shift and all enemies are defeated, thus leading to their victory. Let's take a look at that one one more time. The Chrono Flash kind of has a nice ring to it. Our number three spot goes to King Golt on Bard. Now I know what you're thinking, we see Bard so many times on the list, but this play is too good to pass up. He locks down every enemy with Tempered Fate, but he does not freeze the Elder Dragon. This allows LeBlanc to pick up the easiest Dragon Steal of her life. Buckle up for one of the best Wombo combos your eyes will ever see. A Wild Zebra initiates a beautiful setup with this Curse of the Mummy, snatching all five enemies, which leads to every single ultimate from his teammates landing on every enemy. And they all have to sit there and take it. Four seconds is the amount of time it takes to ace the entirety of the red team. And our number one play goes to Diamond 3 player SMAIA. On Sivir, it's 26 minutes in and the game is pretty close, both teams with 52k in the bank. SM's Maokai gets caught in the top lane, but two people had to take him down, so SM activates on the hunt, pings like a madman, and rushes the inhibitor. Braum jumps to his side and they get to work. Fiora and Leona try to collapse on them, opening with Solar Flare, which is absorbed with Spell Shield. SM keeps on the inhibitor while kiting to the right, always staying behind her teammates. She throws out her boomerang blade after sending Rek'Sai, hitting multiple enemies. Rek'Sai finally gets close enough to Umbera while LeBlanc whizzes by her, assassinating Karma. She chucks her Q to the side, sniping Leona, turns to Fiora, secures the kill, kites backwards. Spell Shield, Sigil, Ricochet takes down the fleeing Rek'Sai, and LeBlanc is finished off for the Penta. Take a look again at how close this fight was. SM doing an excellent job keeping her distance the entire time. The smooth moves not only land SM a penta, but the satisfaction of ending the game by yourself. And our bonus play goes to SA Panther 410 on Karma. Don't you hate going aggressive right when their jungler shows up? Well, worry no more. With this simple life hack, you can fend off any potential ganker coming to your lane. Zinn is pretty upset that he got pranked, so he goes in anyways, but Panther's life hack bought him just enough time for Rek'Sai to show up and turn the tables. Also, fun fact, this is a Diamond 1 game. Also, we are going to be giving away a free Loot Crate trial. New Star Guardian skins are coming out, so my question to you is which champion should join Lux as the new Guardian of the Stars? Comment your answer beneath the video, give a small explanation, and we'll pick out the best one. Time to shout out our sponsor, Loot Crate. Loot Crate is a delivery service that sends a package of goodies to your door every month, and you get to decide the theme for that box. They have a giant selection to choose from, gaming, anime, and even pets. Too busy to go out and get toys for your doggo? Well, stay in your house and continue playing those video games. Get that stuff delivered. Vitamin B is overrated. If you're tight on cash, they have options that can accommodate whatever your needs. And if you want to check out the site for yourself, we have a link for you beneath this video in the description box. You can peruse through the older crates and see what you missed and check out this month's theme as well. If you're interested and want to support the Potato Monster team, that link directly helps us continue our production for bigger and better things. Thanks for hearing us out. That's going to do it for this episode. Thank you again for all the support and make sure to subscribe for more Top 5 Plays. We'll see you next time. How about we call it? <laughs> Time Wizard's Delight. I think we should call it Grandpa's Surprise. I think we should call it A Wrinkle in Time. How about we call it... <laughs>
the senior special. 